uh, UPND Youth Debut uh, Chairperson to get to the internet today to talk about the issue of Baloche land and he was very 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 angry about it he was very angry about it and for him he, 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 he stated it very clearly that he, he, he and his group they are not going to sit down and watch for, for and wait for the leaders in in mongo to take over the country like he said a lot of things but before i say anything first let's just hear, hear, hear what he said so we have the interests of the country ahead of us we know that even when we are alive like this we are leading this country and living in this country for the generations that which are coming after us so we must be very careful with what we say these words i'm giving to the people that are calling themselves an alliance of youths from Baloseland. Tell those youths that uh, a pocket of tribesmen that which rise against a country that is which is called a ethnic, ethnic warfare. They want to bring about they want to bring about ethnic confusion based on a tribesman. We know Western Province has got even more groupings of people, more than just the losses. There are Nkoyas there, there are Mbundas there. So if confusion is their food, we as youths of Zambia, we're not going to sit idle to hear and listen to their nonsense. Uh, the narrative has been taken far too long on the media. And we know that there are certain people that were withdrawn as diplomats from Russia. When they came into this country, we heard them telling people that, you know, we shall show them politics. We want to start doing now what we did, what we failed all these years. Rinyungandambo or Baroseland must not be used as a platform to be used like uh, the way we have Uyundu traditional ceremony or windy or the way they have then you want to go and use it that you know this is a cultural heritage now wants to take over the country. No, we must all be around to associate, interact, invite one another, but where a certain family members because he has been recorded he wants to take over the country because he was given a chance to go and work in russia as a diplomat we know you even by name stop pretending and masquerading stop pretending uh, that you want to use uh, fear and if uh, you think that uh, uh, this is a government that which will bend towards your demands i doubt it very much even in my sleep i think i would not be able to accept and I don't think that even His Excellency the President made a mistake. There was no mistake. Zambia still remains a Zambia. And it cannot be changed because you have got a pocket of your relatives that which you want to support because they run a political party. Then you want to form a government out of a grouping of people. That one, my dear brothers, my cousins, ah uh ah. -uh. And very soon, you'll be hearing, you know, we want to do fundraising for for a traditional ceremony. You want to come and organize that intercontinental. You want to come and organize that Pamozi Hotel, which is Zambia. And you are very limited. You have never had a fundraising uh, ceremony for your function only in the Western province. You have been lying on Zambia. And when your people are employed here, you should stop uh, trying to divide this country. This country, people died living it the way it was, and it shall be so going forward. And we are determined, we as youths, to make sure that it remains so. To you that think that we can bend and be threatened. Ah. 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 Yes, watch it, Pasana. Yes, watch it, Pasana. Why are you footage you book on English? I'm going to check it out. So, in other words, it's like he was saying more like um, in the, the, some of these leaders in within the Balote land uh, region that are advocating for this cessation. They are doing this for in more like um, out of um they have like something personal against the government because they did serve before as uh, diplomats to russia and they were called back so they took that thing personal that's why they are even pushing this agenda even more according to him but you know in most cases we hear the main excuse has been that there hasn't been any reasonable development within the Baruchaland region and that is why they are pushing for this cessation but there are so many arguments we can argue you know back and forth you know we can also say that the laws are not the only people in western province there are so many there are other you know uh, ethnic tribes within that region just not the laws so we can argue back and forth but i would like to go back to the statement that uh, uh honorable Cornelius Mitua gave in in his previous press, press conference because he talked about this issue 
the issue of Balotelland, for me, is definitely a very sensitive issue. And it should be handled with uh, diplomacy. You know, the government needs to be diplomatic about this because in as much as if the government, the, the government has got power to use force and put this issue to bed, but this will not end, but if the government was to use force, it would not end this claim entirely. In the near future, maybe when there's change of government, we will see the issue to like rise again. Like for example, during President ECR's time, when they came up with this issue of, you know, the cessation, trying to push for the cessation, a good number of people were arrested over this issue during uh, President ECR's time. And things appears to be quiet, like it, if things, you know, went quiet during the ECR because some people were arrested and I think it brought fear in, in one or two uh, Romanian leaders and all that. So now, when the UPND came back, it came, I mean, came in office, when they were elected in office, they, the issue came up again. So even if the government was to use force right now to try and end this issue, it will surely come up again in the future. So I think the best way is to handle this issue through diplomatic means, maybe uh, bring in a mediator, you know, the government uh, sit, sit down with the, with, the, with the chiefs, the government sit down with the, with, the, with the chiefs and, you know, come to an agreement that will suit both parties. But within that agreement, dividing the country should not even be part of the agreement. That is for sure. Because we cannot divide this country. Otherwise, um, our forefathers, like what they fought for, would just be for nothing anyway. Because our forefathers fought for this country. They fought for independence so that we can live as one, as one Zambia, one nation. That's what they fought for. So if we are to divide the nation, it means whatever they fought for is nothing. And the other thing is that sometimes we take certain things for granted. For example, there are so many countries that we can point out to right now that... Like, for example, the, 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 the Central Republic, there is division there. People are dying till today. Even if you just go to most of the countries in West Africa, you see there is division. If we can even talk about Rwanda, the genocide in Rwanda and all that. All those problems were due to, most of these problems are due to ethnicity. When you don't agree on certain things and you start dividing yourselves based on ethnicity, tribe, whatever, it, it leads to bloodshed. So right now we have peace in Zambia and we're taking this peace for granted. The reason why uh, mostly we just come out here on the media and maybe talk about the issue of minimum, talk about fuel prices, is because we have peace so we can focus on other things like prices of food and all that. But trust me, if there is uh, no peace in the country, if there is a civil war in the country, talking about fuel prices will be the least of your, of your priorities because your number one priority will now be uh, safety. You'll be like, where, where am I going to be so that I can see the next day? Because if I go this way, they might, they might kill me. If I go this way, you know. So we should not take this peace for granted. That's why even my appeal to most of these, you know, people within the, the Balotse land is that they should look things, look at things at the bigger picture. Even if when we talk about the issue, or you know, the, the traditional ceremony that the losses uh, are going to have, when they go for, fund, for fundraising, sorry, they are going to go and uh, uh, host these fundraisings as maybe the Intercontinental, you know, the Pamozi Hotel. Where are those uh, places? They are in Zambia. So they are benefiting from Zambia. When you go to Western Province, where the Barosaland, like most of these uh, Barosaland uh, uh, leaders are, there are police stations there. Those police stations are under the government. They're providing security for them there. In that place, there are hospitals. Who is funding those hospitals? It is the government. Who is paying the health workers in those hospitals? It's the government. So since Zambia became a country, the Lozi people have benefited a lot from Zambia. May it be education. How many Lozi have graduated from the University of Zambia? How many Lozi have, uh, uh, you know, been sent abroad by the government? You know, there have been so many benefits. I And when we talk about development, even though some people are attacking me in my previous video when I talked about development, it is not only Western province that is not developed. Most of Zambia, like the, the Zambia entirely, is not developed at all. The only two places we can say that there is okay, some sort of development that you can say, okay, here yeah, you can point on two things. It is just Lusaka and the Copper Belt. If you go to other places, even if you go to, to places like Mansa, you go to Wapula, even if you go to Kasama, you go to Eastern Province, you might even begin to wonder, like, this country has been, uh, in, has had independence for how many years? Since 1964. Why are these places so undeveloped? Why are people living like this? No 
no electricity, no running water, nothing. People uh, still living in houses made of huts. Classrooms uh, made of, I don't even know how to explain it. It's not just Western province. So now imagine um, if, if the Chitimu Kuru says, I know there was nothing like uh, the, the Bemba agreement with the, with, 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 the, with the Northern Rhodesia, there was nothing like that. But because my region has so many undeveloped areas, there's just too much poverty here. I, I want this place to be independent from Zambia. And we hear also the Mwatakazembe says the same thing. We go to Eastern Province, their own traditional rulers say the same thing. What do you think is going to happen? Not the chaos. So I think this session should not even be a subject. If the Lozi, team, if the Lozi leaders want uh, what is best for the Lozi people, the best thing they can do is come to an agreement with the government on how they want certain things to be done and not even talk about secession because secession should not even be an option. Zambia is one country and will forever remain to be one country. And most of these leaders that are advocating for this secession, if you look at them, they are very old people, very old people. They will be probably in the next maybe 15, uh, 20 years, they will be dead. They won't even be here with us. If you look at them, they are probably in their almost 70s. If you add 20 years to their life, they, they, are, they won't even be here with us anymore. So the future belongs to the young people. So why are you advocating for something that might bring confusion and disturb the futures of the young people that are coming up? And not just the, 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 the and it's not just the futures of, of the of the people of the Balotse land, but the future of the youths even outside Balotse land. So anyway, uh, let me know what you think about this whole situation. And if you are not subscribed to this channel, please subscribe so that you don't miss out on videos like this. And thank you for watching.